We all know that Warner Brothers has a streaming service called HBO Max, which, when it comes to DC, like they're making a Peacemaker show, a Green Lantern show, they're making uh, a, the Batman spinoff, uh, which is a, a, a GCPD uh, prequel to the upcoming Batman movie, all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to the movies, they kind of be focused on that more, like a, a Batgirl. Like a blue beetle, which at this point we all know just casting, directing, all that kind of stuff. So it sounds like they're about to film this thing about in a couple, um, in a, a, in like a couple months or next year at some point. So for maybe a, a, a early 2023 release date. Anyway, um, but turns out there's going to be another character that's going to get their own standalone film, and that is, uh, Birds of Prey character, Black Canary. And I'm reading this from Collider, but it's from Hollywood Porto, or why the deadline the major trade. And it says, Black Canary movie in works at HBO Max from writer Leslie Green, who was the showrunner of Lovecraft Country, which everyone really loves, but I watched that, I, I did watch that show. I thought some episodes were, were hits, I thought some episodes were misses. So, you know, it's one of those situations where let's see how it goes. Uh, with Leslie Moyes, uh, yeah, with uh, Julie Moyes to apprise her role, who played Black Canary, aka Diane Lance, uh, in Burst of Play and the, let me say the full title, Burst of Play and the Fathers Interpation of One Harley Quinn. Okay, I can only say the title in that voice. I can only do like a Harley Quinn voice of me saying that title. Anyway. <sighs> okay. It's easy to say Harley Quinn is the best part. Anyway, just put it out there. Anyway. Um, my thoughts of this, okay, this version of this character getting a spin-off and the character general, like the, 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 the comic book character getting their standalone film. Um, which one should I go for? Let's go for the Birds of Prey side effect. I enjoy this version of Dying Land, so it's that whole thing of like, okay, you see potential, you see uh, possibilities to continue this story uh, with this character, and you know, you're going to have um, a whiter, uh, at least a white, because Leslie Green is also directing the new Tomb Raider film that's meant to come out in a couple of years, so clearly she's just going to like this, um, but, you know, it, it's a, a whiter that, you know, the main, the, your lead trusts and has experience with and all that kind of stuff, so it's going to be a level of trust that, hey, they're going to make a really good movie of this character, it could be a soft reboot, we all we know, it could be just a, like a, um, like a suicide spot where it's like, yeah, yeah, the first one happened, but yeah, we can just forget about that. Yeah, some actors are the same, but yeah, you know what I mean? But, what about the character in general? Like, does the Birds of Prey character, the other you know, carnival character who showed up like on the Arrow and um, Smallville and several of the anime and stuff and all that kind of things, getting her stay on film? Well, when I heard the title, uh, this a uh, you know, Black Canary standalone film, I immediately went to the mindset of like, what can you do with it? Like, this point had been like Black Canary solo comics, but I never, like, my experience with the character has always been her link to, always been linked to Green Arrow. So my brain literally, my brain literally went to, and like a way you could do this is maybe Pretty Woman, with with Black Canary as, the, as your main character, meeting of a queen who's this rich guy who starts to turn to be the Green Arrow. That's maybe the way to go. Um. And, you know, she can be a little bit like, you're witch, so fuck off, kind of thing. But, she, it's just like, it's one of those characters, like, a blue bill, you're like, okay, a lot of people want to see, and, and, and this character has, had, has, um, solo titles, as a solo titles, as a solo titles. Actually, solo titles, 
Blue Beetle seems to be one of those characters who are kind of like Master Man Hunter, where like there's a, a wide fan base over this character, but they can't sell a book. So it's that aspect of things. You know, Batgirl has been a character who, from uh, Bob Gordon, from uh, Santa Kane, from Stephanie Brown, from all these other mantles um, that you know has a standalone and you can pick these stories black and thing does so much and probably some people can be like oh yeah this this and this and this and this and this is a good way you could go standalone wise and um i, I um hopefully um there's no uh, all-star batman woman type shit in it <laughs> if you know what I mean. um but yeah it's my thoughts of it has been just the couch in general, what can you do with it? Like, hey, give me a Black Canary movie any time of the day, but... Yeah, it's just a, one of those like, huh, what, what can you do with it? And, um, yeah.